back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm doing a delicious recipe but I'm not making a ton. I'm just making enough for a couple of lunches and um, yeah. So basically this is a broccoli cheese soup and I'm using Thrive. Um, I'm using, actually I'm using Thrive's cheese powder. It's a cheese sauce uh, blend. Uh, it's really, really good and I've had it several ways, so I'll share some of those. I'm also using Thrive's Chicken Bouillon, and I have Thrive Broccoli, but it's in a number 10 can, and I don't wanna open that. I didn't have any smaller ones open already, so I've got um, some, I just had a cup of frozen broccoli that was left, um, shots, and she's getting a drink. <laughs> Anyways, I thought, you know, I'm just gonna use this up and I'm gonna make a broccoli cheese soup that is gonna be delicious. So I've got some heavy whipping cream instead of milk. I also refreshed about, eh, I thought it was gonna be a cup, but it's probably uh, three fourths of a cup of the Thrive's Colby Jack cheese. You just add a couple tablespoons of water to a cup of the cheese and leave it set for a couple hours. It, uh, literally a tablespoon and a half of water and you have perfect just like you just grated it delicious some butter I mean this is simple and I season it with lemon pepper because I feel like the broccoli stands on its own I don't need to do anything else so I'm gonna go ahead and make my cheese sauce first in in this um, measuring cup I've got three-fourths of a cup of the cheese powder and I'm gonna use a tablespoon, healthy tablespoon of butter down in my saucepan. And I'll bring you in close, we'll get over to the stove and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make, my milk is gonna be out of heavy cream. Um, you could use the instant milk if you wanted to, but again, I'm gonna use what I have on hand that I need to get rid of because while we're on this lockdown, even though I'm not really locked down, I need to rotate through my stuff efficiently. Um, I've got some purified water and we're gonna get over to the stove and make some broccoli cheese soup. Okay, so I'm just melting my butter down in my saucepan and that's really what you wanna do is go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add some water, a little bit of water, about a cup, cup and a half, and some of the heavy cream. And I also wanna add a uh, about a heavy teaspoon of the bouillon. We can add a little bit more if I feel like I need it. Some of this heavy cream down in here. Oh, it's already looking good, right? Hmm. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. I'm gonna add the rest of that water. Whoops, take the lid off, Linda. And that water's really cold, so it's gonna take it a minute to heat all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and season. Um, this is Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning. It's, you know, pretty readily available anywhere, but I really like it with the broccoli. And I do like Thrive's broccoli for soup. Um, as a side dish, not as much, but I do like it for soups. It's fantastic. But like I said, I've got to make sure I've got meals planned to use it um, within a year, you know, and um, I just, I want to make sure that I'm gonna get that done, but I figured I better use what's in the freezer before it goes bad. So we're just gonna go ahead with this and probably gonna need a little bit of a whisk, maybe not. Um, go ahead and add this cheese powder. And you're just gonna simmer this for two or three minutes until it gets thick. And if you feel like it's too thick, then we're gonna say, mm, let's add some more water. Okay, and you can notice it doesn't clump up at all. Um, it's it just dissolves beautifully in the in the broth or and or soup mix, basically. The 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 milk, cream, and water. Basically, you could use whole milk instead. I'm just again using what I have on hand. I'm gonna get a tasting spoon and taste just a little bit for salt. Wow, it's already delicious. I'm gonna add the Thrive uh, Colby Jack cheese that I refreshed, and I did that earlier today. And that's going in. And 
it's coming up to a little bit of a simmer here. I want to keep just let it simmer until it thickens up. I'll bring you back when it's thickened up a little bit. So it's simmered now for about three minutes and it's still not as thick as I'd like. I don't want to add any more cheese to it um, because well it's cheesy. It's so good but it's very cheesy. I'm going to add some black pepper because I love pepper. Um, it's really good. So my thought process was what about potatoes? And I have Thrive's potato, these are potato dices. So these are absolutely wonderful. Now we're making like a potato cheese and broccoli soup. And these will refresh in a couple of seconds and thicken this up, make it a little bit heartier soup and um, it'll be done. So. so guys, I felt like it needed more broccoli. That's kind of how soup goes for me. It's I add as you go. So I individually portion out broccoli in the freezer um, to take for lunch. It's, it's easy to grab a bag that's perfect portion. So I added four more big florets. Now, I talked to the person I'm going to be sharing this with and they would like it pureed. So I am going to puree it. They said they did not like big chunks of broccoli. So we're going to puree this with the immersion blender. And it's gonna be fantastic. I'll be back when I'm serving it up, I promise. Give me that guy. I am super excited. Now I um, went out and picked some fresh parsley out of the garden. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna cut that right over the top. Add a little bit more nutrition as well as delicious. I love Italian parsley. Let's take a bite. And I added a, uh, about a teaspoon of sour cream. That's optional. You can use Greek yogurt. You, you could leave it out completely, or you could use a wedge of laughing cow cheese. Mm. So here we go. Taste test. A little bit of that, a little bit of fresh herb. Wow. Mm. You know what? I am glad I pureed it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I, I, I am really glad. It's delicious creamy, cheesy, over-the-top cheesy. Mm. And literally took me absolutely no time at all. I didn't have to peel a potato. I didn't have to cut up a big fresh broccoli florette. I had it frozen, so that was convenient, but the cheese sauce was so simple. It's a little milk and water and a little butter, and there you go. It's delicious. Okay. I hope you give this a try, and if you'd like any of the products that I showed you today, the description, there's a link down below in the description box. Mm, I got to finish my lunch. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Mm. And don't forget that chicken bouillon is delicious.